the Prime Minister welcomed the Thomson Reuters CEO to his new home, Canada. He's moving from New York to lead the launch of a new Thomson Reuters Technology Centre in downtown Toronto that will eventually more than double his company's Canadian workforce. We need access to talent. Our move here is all about talent and access to that talent. Hello. And despite a parade of top politicians at today's announcement, the CEO says the government didn't entice Thompson Reuters with any financial benefits. Make no mistake, no incentives um, involved in this move. The announcement comes the same day as Canada's latest job numbers. 67,000 new jobs were added in September, and despite the jump, the actual unemployment rate didn't budge. More Canadians were looking for work, and that's actually an optimistic signal because it means that the, the individuals looking for work were, were of the mind that there were jobs out there that, that they could get. Innovation. And more Canadians will land high-tech jobs at the new technology centre, but this expert predicts the government's hope to create a global innovation hub will fall short. Today can be characterised as a great day, really a great day for Canada's jobs strategy. And a not a great day or even a bad day for Canada's technology and innovation strategy. And we need to hear more about the innovation agenda for us to feel that this government truly has a vision about Canada. Even though one economist dubbed the number of jobs created in September as spectacular, most were low-paid part-time positions. So in terms of the government's goal to create more well-paying jobs, more jobs at places like Thomson Reuters would be a step in that direction. Jacqueline Hansen, CBC News, Toronto.